Hi, I'm Egan. Today I'm going to talk about all of the things that you need to think about when you're gardening in the summer. Gardening should be fun, and in the spring, it's easy. You know, the seeds germinate, it's nice and cool out, lush, soft, green growth. But the summer's a whole different ball game. It gets hot, there's water stress, maybe there's bugs eating your plants, and hey, what's that powdery mildew on my leaves? As the season changes from spring to summer, it's important to understand that you're going from cool season to warm season. And there are cool season plants that grow better in the spring, and there are warm season plants that grow better in the summer. Often what will happen is cool season plants will bolt, which means they will flower when it gets hot. That's what they're programmed to do. Be careful if you're fertilizing and watering, because if plants get too lush, they're going to be more susceptible to pest and disease. Not only that, but soft tissues from overfeeding or overwatering will actually be less resilient in the heat, and plants will lose more water, requiring more irrigation. Number one question, how do I know how much to water? The only way to know is to check for yourself. So take a tool and dig and look to see how dry the soil is. If you do this regularly, you get in tune with how quickly the soil dries out. And if you do it before you water and after you water, you'll get a good sense for how deep the water that you're putting on the ground is actually penetrating. If you water deeply and less often, the surface will dry and roots will go deep looking for water. And what about insect pests? It's important to understand that you need to tolerate a little bit of pest damage. In fact, pests in the garden are good because they actually attract predator insects that you're trying to encourage that keep the pest populations in check. Everybody recognizes a ladybug as a predator insect, but do you know what a ladybug larva looks like? Are you having problems with slugs? One way to trap them is to put boards out in the garden and in the morning flip the boards up and there's your slugs. What's the number one task in the garden? Weeding! Annual weeds like chickweed and peppergrass produce tons of seeds and create a seed bank in the soil that lasts for years. So every time you dig, you expose fresh seeds to light and water and poof, you get weeds growing again. That's why it's important that if you're trying to control the weeds in gardens, you've got to keep the ground covered. So you can use mulches, and in between your crops, you can use cover crops. Here, we're using buckwheat as a cover crop to suppress the weeds. I never advise using pesticides or herbicides in the garden. Rather than putting a Band-Aid on the problem and spraying plants with yucky chemicals, figure out what the underlying issue is and learn something. That's what gardening is. For example, powdery mildew spores are everywhere, so you can't eliminate the pathogen. And some plant varieties are more susceptible than others. And it really takes off when the weather is hot and dry in areas where there's not much airflow. So you can pick a resistant variety and find a spot that's going to be less favorable for the disease. So enjoy the bounties of summer and have fun! Remember, the challenges you have with gardening are terrific opportunities to learn. 